even tell me you were coming. Oh, so I now need permission to come to my boyfriend's house. Of course, you need to tell me that you're coming to my house. You are my boyfriend. You work for my father. We are in a relationship. Uh, at least we're one. I've told you I don't like people sneaking into my house without telling me. I don't like it. So you now refer to me as people. What do you think would happen if I tell my father that you're referring to me as people. Oh, come off it, my friend. Can we ever have a sweet discussion without you bringing your father's issue? Without you telling me that you tell your father, your father, your father, your he father. He is my father! That's the point. I'm supposed to talk to my father. Yes! Is it my fault that you have a poor wretched papa as a father back there in the Hey! Place? Don't you ever refer to my father as that. As what? Don't try it again. I don't understand. Is that why you're raising your hand? You want to hit me? You're pointing at me because you want to hit me next? Is it my fault that he is poor and red? Hey! Try it. Hit me! Hit me! Then you see what my father will do to you? He will roast you like the poor church rat that you are. If you're a man, try to hit me. If you, if you know you have something, Hanging in between your ties, hit me and watch what my father will do to you. Rubbish. I'm leaving. What nonsense. Adam. Adam, what is wrong with you? Eh? What is wrong? Why are you behaving like this? Mama, ask that man inside there to leave. I don't like it. Will you shut up your mouth? What is wrong with you? Mama, you cannot marry me off by force. You cannot marry me off by force. No. Oh, really? So you are, you, you are not going to marry him? Then who are you going to marry? Namdi. Namdi eh? Namdi will soon come back. Who is in Namdi? That one nobody knows his whereabouts. Eh? For good 12 years. Mama, I know what Namdi and I discussed before he left. I know what we agreed on. Don't worry, Namdi will come back. I'll wait for him. That will not happen. That will not happen. Not in this house. Not while I'm still alive. What is wrong with you? I do not want us to begin to quarrel the way we used to quarrel and fight. Please, just leave me alone. Because I will not marry anybody apart from Nandi. And he will come back. You are just the one looking at it like that though. Twelve years is not even a lot. I mean, it's twelve years. Adan, do you know this is a third suitor you are chasing away? This is the third suitor you are rejecting, Adane. That's why I told you, don't allow the suitors to come because if they come, I will reject them. Listen to me. The next one that will come, Ijebego. Mama, I'm not Jebeing. Ijebego! I'm not Jebeing. The next one that will come, you must marry him. Mama, I say I'm not Jebeing. I'm going to wait for my Namdi. Namdi will soon come back. He promised me, we promised ourselves. Adane, what did Namdi give you to chop? What did he give you to eat, Adane? Nothing, Mama. Don't worry yourself. You will soon come. 12 years, how many? 12 years. You will come. She make it. You will come. Adanda, it's your one again. It's here. It's here, Mama. You know, you will come. You will come. 12 years. It's not a lot at all. I'll wait. I'll wait. Is that young man in Dhaka? Uh, uh, you are asking me. Eh? Somebody just drove past and you are asking me he, he was. Are you the owner of the road? Eh? To know who said that pass. 
He could be one of the oil company men. I don't think so. You don't think so? Yes. Uh, so who who do you think he, he, he was? Obviously, he is not your son. Eh? Your son cannot afford that kind of expensive car just three months into his spare parts business in Abba. Mm. He cannot afford he it. He cannot afford it. My son, I can't officer. I can't in general. I know how much my son have and what he can afford. Your own son can afford the replane. Eh? I please, let's go to a meeting. We are almost late. Uh, don't, don't bite my nose. Oh. I was just joking. I was just joking. Joker. Mm. Continue to joke. I was just joking. Yeah, just joking. Uh, your son can afford the replane. Yeah. Nandi. Azuka. I'm coming though. My husband. Yes, I. You called. Oh uh, yes. I'm sorry, I was a bit busy in the kitchen. It's okay. I I'm going for a meeting now with Council of Elders. Okay. Um, you know Peter, my friend. Mhm. Mm okay, Peter will be bringing some money for me, so I want you to collect it from him and. Keep it for me. Okay, okay my husband. Mm, uh, my husband, uh, what about the money? Uh, uh, please, don't touch the money. I have a need for it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Um, when I come, I'll give you the money that you asked for. Is that okay? Okay, my husband. <laughs> come back in time. Of course I will. But anyway, you actually look so good, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You look like um, uh, this village uh, sugar daddy. <laughs> yes, you look like... So, is that a compliment? Yes, now. You, you don't allow those small, small girls to look at your face. I will never. They should not look at you even twice. I will never. <laughs> hey, I am you. Hey! Is that my son? You are welcome, my son. Papa <laughs> Kekime. I'm fine. Wow. How? You're looking good. You're looking um, so handsome. <laughs> I was telling her hi about the dream I had last night. Okay. And she said um, something, somebody very great shall be visiting. Yes. And here you are. Yes, sir. I'm here. Michael. <laughs> uh, how are you? Oh, fine. They're looking so handsome. And. This car, if it's our own, it's fine. <laughs> yes, Papa, it's our car. What? Shy! Our car! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Ah. My enemies. Oppressing you? Ha! My son. With what? With that their keke and that their mini boss. They are using to oppress me, Azuka. Hey! Ah. <laughs> you know how dramatic your mother can be. Let's go inside. My son, my son! Oh my god! Come inside, come inside. Hi. Uh, where have you been? Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Hey, Mama. Mama, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mama. How are your parents? They are very fine. They are fine, Mama. <sighs> I heard okay. that uh, Namdi came back from the city, so I said, let me come and see him. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, Namdi is not here. He has gone out with his father. Ah. Mm, he went out with his father. Hey, and somebody just told me that, that he drove in with this car. Ah. So my son has not even settled down. And they have started gossiping about him. Eh? So you mean I'm lying or what? No, oh, Mama. Hey, no, I didn't mean it that way. I was just thinking that maybe... Well, that's what? You felt that I am lying to you. I, Azoka, is lying to you. Are you being so stupid? Mama, it hasn't gotten to that. I'm very sorry if you feel that way. Eh, has not gotten to that. 
please. That was in the past. You say you, I don't want to ask my son to mingle with you anymore. A low life class like you. Just get out of my compound, please. Eh? What mama, has changed? Mama, Mama, in, in, enough of this. Please. What is going on now? Eh? Nad, you get out of my compound. Mama, Before stop, Mama, I stop this now. Stop, 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 Ada. If I see you in this compound again, I will deal with you. Go, 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 go. I'm serious, Nandi. I'm worried. I'm very worried about your mother's hatred towards me. I understand how you're feeling. I, I, I do understand. No, no, no. You don't. You don't. You don't understand how I feel. Because you stood there and you did nothing. You heard her say every single thing she said to me and you didn't say n not a word came out of your mouth. What do you expect me to do? You want me to fight my mother? That's not what I said. A little word. Put in one word for me. When you stand there and watch her insult me and maltreat me and you say nothing, then I don't feel like you understand what I'm going through. Twelve years. All the sacrifices, everything, 12 years, and you just stand there and watch. It's okay. I understand. The, the, the main thing here is that I can stop loving you. That is the main thing. That's what you say, but someday, somehow, just what if she infiltrates you and makes, like, separates us? What if she ends up separating us? Believe me, that will not happen. Not when you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love you and I still love you. Just don't say these things. Prove them. Show it to me. It's okay. I will. Adan. Uh, mama. Adan. Welcome, Mama. What did you go to do in Azuka's house yesterday? Mama, I don't understand you. What is wrong if I go to see... My friend, answer my question! I went to see Namdi when I heard he came back from the city. Did you go there to see Namdi? Or you went to Azoka's house to confront her? Eh? Oh, Mama... How can you even ask me this? Why would I do that? Why, why... Mama, I don't understand why Namdi's mother just developed a sudden hatred for me. I cannot go there to confront her. What did they say I did? You needed to see the way she was bringing abuses on me, shouting at me. She told me to warn you to stay away from her house, never to step your foot in her compound again. Twelve years. Twelve whole years. Man. Did I not warn you? Did I not? When you were busy chasing your suitors away, did I not warn you? Look at it. It has happened. Because of you. Azoka had the infantry to insult me in the public before other women. No problem. I'll deal with you later. Twelve years. Twelve years. How do I let go after twelve years? Brother. I never believed you would come back to this village after so many years. Eh? About uh, 15 years now. No, it's not 15 years. It's just 12 years. 12 years is not just to. Uh, <laughs> ah! eh, eh, you have to really appreciate uh, Adan now. Ah! Adan, uh, she is really convinced that she will come back. She, we always talk about you any time that we meet. We always talk about you. Ah, eh. My mother is just a problem. You know... I don't know what Adanne has done to her. You know, she asked me to stop seeing Adanne. It seems she doesn't like Adanne anymore. Uh, that, that should better be a joke. Why, 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 why would your mother say, say a thing like that? Now? See, brother, Adanne have suffered a lot of humiliation in this village just because she is convinced that one day you will return and marry her. She has, <laughs> she is not looking the way of any of the suitors that have been coming to marry her. Why, why would Mama say a thing like that now? Did she insult Mama? You know the kind of person Adana is now. She never insulted Mama for one day. I wonder what is going on. 
Yeah, what about Papa? What's Papa saying about? Papa is on my side anyway. Ah, uh -huh, thank God. Since Papa is on your side, you know, you know, Mama can can be somehow, so can behave somehow at times. Let's just focus on Papa's support and do the needs. You or four people should understand how Mama behaves sometimes. My brother, I don't understand. You know, you're my closest cousin, and I'll always tell you the truth. The thing now is that you don't understand where I'm coming from. Adane is not happy with me. Uh, who would be? Who would be? Why would you be saying, Mama said you should not be? Ah, no, 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 no. But don't worry. Everything will just fall in place. Everything will fall in place. Huh? <laughs> you, must, you must have a lot of cars, man. <laughs> My son, what is bothering you? Hmm? You have been like this since you came back from seeing Chibuzo. Is everything okay? Mama, I need you to tell me the truth. What has Ada done to you? And why do you hate her so much? Me, Azoka, hate her. Nand, that girl is nothing but a pretentious and shameless prostitute. I'm a brave girl. Yes, that's not true, Mama. Why do you hate that girl so much? What has she done to you? Ada, da 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 da, all the time. Nand. I have told you the truth, but nothing but the truth. If you like, believe me. If you don't like, disbelieve me. I've said my own. Can't you hear a cry? Can't you see a tear? Can't you feel her pain after all her waiting for years? This is all you have to say to her. This is all you have to say. I am now alone. Namdi. Tell me what your mother has asked you to come and say to me. This has nothing to do with my mother. It has everything to do with your mother. And the fact that she has refused to let go of our relationship. She has refused to let go of you. And the most annoying thing that's... And the most annoying thing is that you keep defending her. E -e enough. Enough of that. I can't have you talk to me in that manner. God. All I'm trying to do is that... that uh... Is what? Is what? All you're trying to do is what? Why did you bring me here? You called me out here and you haven't said anything. Why did you bring me here? We just have to call it a quit. I don't think I can continue with, with this. Twelve years. 12 years and this is what you say to me. After everything we've been through, after all the sacrifices I have made, this is what you say I to don't me. Know, I don't know, 
I don't need to listen to me. Listen to me. I, I can explain. What do you I... want to explain? What do you want to say to me? This is what you say to me after 12 years. Gee, what you, what Thank you. Thank you for making me a laughing stock in this village. This is what you say to me. After all her waiting for years, this is all you have to say to her. This is all you have to say. Seen Betty for some time now, and her line is not connecting. She didn't even tell me she's staying out this long. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Maybe I'll go to her father's office if I don't see her the next two days. Yes, I, I think that's right. That's this girl. This girl. It's just that um, I can feel oh. the extent of your worry, and I know there's something beneath it. Will I be wrong if I say it has to do with your mother and her pregnancy? Papa, everything is not just good right now. Mama is threatening to commit suicide if I do not leave her that name. And that brings me to this question. What did she really do? Well, I do not have answers to your question. But it's rather unfortunate that you have allowed your emotion to be cloud your sense of judgment. Atana loves you. And she had waited for you to prove that. Your mother, on the other hand, loves you as much as we both know. But if you think through deeply, you definitely know the part to choose. Can't you see? Tears. Can't you feel uh, her pain after all her waiting for years? This is Linda. all you have to say. Yes? There's something I want to discuss with you. What is it? Please, you can see I'm busy now. Hmm? I want to concentrate. Whatever I want to discuss with you will not affect your concentration. 
<laughs> I already know what you want to discuss. Your main subject is Adani. Is that not? Alright. Now that you know, why are you stopping my son from marrying Adani? <laughs> Papa Nand, can't you see that the level has changed? Eh? With all this money my son has, <laughs> he's not going to marry Adani. No. Is that all? Ah, is that not enough reason? I am not short-sighted like you. Please. Ah. Are you aware that my son has been thrown into a state of confusion? <laughs> hey, nah. You are the one confusing him. Hmm? Yes. You. I'll wait until my son makes his decision. My decision is his decision. And there's nothing anybody can do about it or to change my mind. Every time I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I will not hear anything in this house. It's a damn name. Ah! My son will not marry me. No matter what he not going to marry me. My father is too nice for you to mention his name in this your stupid mouth. You are talking to me, stupid woman. Yay! Hey, yes, you slap me. I, I slap you and I will slap you again and again. You stop. Go on, no, no. Go on, no, no. I'm not. I'm not here. I will deal with you. Any other day you stop me in this village, eh? I'm going to tell my son to arrest you and your shame on your useless father. You've been scarce these days, and um, sometimes you stay out late. Why do I feel that there is a new catch somewhere? Oh, my world. Is it not your feelings? Please, darling, feel free to feel. Come on, <laughs> Becky. I'm your best friend, and I know you very well. I know you're seeing someone. Well, 
There's this guy I met in my dad's office about five months ago. So yeah, I've been seeing him. What? You've been seeing someone for over five months now, and I'm just getting to find out. What is it now? Eh? Big boy, mind your business. Please leave me be. What is it? I see. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> eh? oh, Tell me now. Mm. You tell me everything. You know, I know your kind of guys now. Give me gist. Mm. Mm. Is he cute? Is he tall? This tell me. World, please rescue me from this girl. Tell me. <laughs> okay, I know I will not hear the end of it, except I'm I tell curious. you. Tell me. <laughs> well, his name is Namdi. Mm -hmm. He's cute. Oh. <laughs> Romantic. Mm. <laughs> Hard working. And he's really nice. Like, he knows how to take good care of a woman. Hmm. <laughs> I can see that you're mad about him already. Of course I am. Hmm. You know, when I first met him, I just knew he was my kind of man. So, I started giving him all the signs, you know, trying to make him notice me. Hmm. But he was too busy engrossed in my father's work. But I just had to make the first move. You did what? Yeah. You mean you approached him first? Oh, please. Get in line, darling. <sighs> Listen, when I saw this guy, I knew he was, the, he was a husband material, okay? So, my darling, I didn't need to wait for anything, no. I had to just snatch him, you know now. <laughs> Becky, I keep telling you this now. Huh? When a woman does this to a man, it makes her appear so cheap. I keep telling you this, and you still went ahead and did it. I mean, how could Mother you have... Mother Mary, please spare me. This is the 21st century. Mm. It doesn't matter who toasts who, in as much as there's a toasting. You lie. It matters, my dear. No, it doesn't. It matters. It doesn't. Get in line, line, my darling. This is 21st you century. Be on the streets. Oh, oh, really? Mother that's, Mary, that's for my hand. Oh, <laughs> you die a maiden. <laughs> oh my God, my guy is so handsome. <laughs> I can't get over him. <laughs> to see, to see, to see man. You woman of less value, you are a big disappointment. What will you teach your children tomorrow? Tell Why me. are you ranting like a mad dog? Huh? What else will you call me your husband? I'm used to it. I am used to it. I, I didn't call you a mad dog. I only said Keep your well, explanation to yourself. Now listen. You were with Ichi DK yesterday. Is that true? What kind of stupid question is that? Huh? Is that why you're screaming and ratting and shouting like a mad dog? So what did you tell Ichi DK? Tell me. <laughs> what did you tell him? Nan. Nan, you leave me alone. No. Leave me alone. No. Hey! Hey! And don't ask me anything because I'm that useless man. <laughs> I wonder what I've become of you. Of late, you have turned to a woman of... I really don't know what to say. Let's see what It is my time to shine. Or Sunday or Wednesday. All the time. Meaning of what? What do you mean by meaning of what? I've been calling you for over two hours and you're not taking my calls. Why aren't you taking my calls? As you can see, I, I, I'm not less busy. My hand is full of work. And peradventure, if you've forgotten, I still work for your father. And your father loves excellency. Okay? So I need to stay focused on my job not to jeopardize my productivity. Wow. Just wow. Mm. Oh. Hello, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, 
Exactly, sir. Okay, I'll be on my way now. Thank you, sir. On my way. Oh. Hey, we're still having a conversation. Hello? I am not a dog. You shout, hey. Okay? Meanwhile, your father wants to see me. He's expecting me now. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, okay? Please, I don't want to push you. I said you were not going anywhere. Oh, hmm. On a second thought, we should go to see my father. Then I'll just tell him how you've been treating me. Perfect. Just. You, you, have, to, you have to stop this. You just have to stop this. Hmm. Hurry up. I'm waiting. Daddy's waiting. Don't keep him waiting. Uh, no. So, how is your new branch performing? So everything is perfectly working well. I mean, the branch will soon take over Lagos and Abuja branches. Wow. Interesting. But why do you think so? Sir, so, the branch is barely five months old and is really challenging on the branches in the terms of productivity, workforce and investment. That is great. Little wonder the external investors are always extremely excited anytime they talk about that branch. I must commend your hard work and uh, craftsmanship, you know, towards the growth of my company. You are such an indispensable aspect of my family and my success story. I really appreciate and uh, I must thank you for it. Yes, thank sir. you. I should be the one thanking you, not you thanking me because you've really, really, really changed my life, everything about me. So I owe you a lot. Oh, now, D. Anyway, I know you are a very modest person. See, you, you are a good man, okay? And I will encourage you to keep it up, okay? Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> years. What have I done to Namdi to deserve this treatment? Twelve, twelve years. Adandi. Why do you want to kill yourself? I'm not going to kill myself. I will not die so someone else can take Namdi from me. Twelve years. Namdi must marry me. Uh -uh. He must marry me. Is it now by force? He gave me his word. That was his promise to me. That was the promise we made to each other. I kept to my own end of the bargain. I kept my promise and I waited 12 years. His mother cannot stop us. So. His mother cannot stop us. Okay, what about Namdi? What did he tell you before he traveled back? I'm gonna forget what he told me when he traveled or when he left. 12 years is not 12 days. He must marry me. I don't care. Don't you understand? Hey. I waited 12 years. I cannot. Hey. Let me this way, Kota. Eh? But I warned you. You remember I warned you. Abalangi, Inora. Look at it. Oh my god. Thank you. 
So you decided to visit me today simply because you heard Namdi is around, right? Dad, come on. Don't I come visiting you? I always come visiting. I always come visiting. <laughs> eh? One last. I mean, the last time you came here was before Unamde went to visit um, his parents in the village, you know. And uh, since then, you forgot that you have a father. I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing that uh, a girl values the, her man over the father. Sir, that, that is not what it is. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> come on. You think I don't know what is going on? Hmm? You think I don't know that something is cooking between the two of you? Anyway. Nandi. Sir. Becky is the only thing I have in this world. She's a priceless jewel in my life. Please. I beg you. Take good care of her. Don't ever conceive any idea of breaking her heart. Is that understood? It's okay, sir. I will. I guarantee you that she's going to make a very good wife for you. Dad, <laughs> you're making me shy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You hear that? Good. Let's continue with our bed. Baby. I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Please. Forgive you for what? Huh? No, tell me, forgive you for what? When you always report me to your father and always insult my family. Baby, please, just forgive me for everything you just mentioned. I'm truly sorry, please. It won't happen again. Please. I know you're sorry, but you've always, I mean, you've actually done what is on your mind. Baby, I love you so much. And that's why I do this most times, but I regret it, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, please, 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 please forgive me, please, baby, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> You bring it now. You love, you love this man. Is okay, now I'm prepared to okay. okay, and be fast about it. Say that's all. Yes, that's all. Make it good, make it okay, good, sir. as usual. Namdi, okay. yeah? what are we doing in a place like this? Baby, see, you know, it's not about the look. It's about what they are cooking. They cook very good food. Okay? You have to test this meat. Come on, eat. Nambi, hmm? you need to have some class sometimes. Okay? Wait, wait. Are you saying I'm classless or what? Something like that. Yes. Me? You are classless. Well, that's not a problem. I guess that's why God brought us together. Since you are classless, while I am an embodiment of class and poise. Uh, over time, I'm going to fix this. Babe, leave Nagin. Nanota, you're Nako. Okay? So, me stating what I don't like now means I nag. Nam, are you saying I'm nagging? Babe, you're nagging, Nanota. I don't understand you. So, I cannot even see something I don't like and say, oh, I don't like it. You brought me to a place, the whole place is hot, I'm sweating. Look at my face. I thought you were taking me to a Chinese restaurant. You I don't understand. You still look beautiful. I like, the, I like you the way you are, okay? It's not about Chinese restaurant. 
they don't cook or in Chinese restaurants, they don't do oba and it's you. Okay? What they do is frog, no, what, frog what, and all that. What is wrong with you? Look at this place. How can you bring me to this place? So you test African food. You know what? I don't blame you. I, mean, you, you I don't blame you. I blame myself for bringing myself with you to this Becky, bring down your voice. Mm. Bring down your voice. Who you're cares? You're criticizing already. I don't care. That's the point. I don't care. Who is here? Listen. Don't you ever in your lifetime bring me to this kind of place. Ah! What is it? I, I, I don't even understand you. How, how did I even stoop so low to a hairy like Becky, you? Becky, Please. You're Becky, Becky, you're making noise. Where are you going to? Whatever. Where are you going to, Becky? Becky? I know this place. Nandi, right? Bibi? It's been Bibi a London! <laughs> wow! What are you doing here? I should be asking you that. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, this is my normal local joint. I come here to eat, to see you, and all that. I like their stuffs here. Yeah. Um, well, my boyfriend owns this place and he's out of town for now, oh. so I come from time to time to check on the business. Okay, you, 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 you take care of it now. Okay, that's nice. In a while. <laughs> Good girl, it's been long. Man eater. So you didn't just wait for me to, 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 to leave the table. Nothing. What are you doing? Who is this prostitute? It's not what you think. And you prostitute, excuse what are you doing me? with my man? You are not excused. You don't go around disgracing yourself, calling people names. Really? That, who are you calling oh, like this? Easy, no, no, easy, 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 easy. You see why I said this rubbish can never walk between us? Huh? You see why I said that? You How can I show myself with disgrace and shame? How can I imagine? Laying some shame and disgrace upon myself today. Disgrace? Disgrace? You stupid and unromantic fool. You had the guts to incite that lunatic against me. For God's sake! What were you even thinking? You kissed her in my presence, in public. God knows how long you've been sleeping with her. Just wait. You just wait until I tell my father. I must tell my father about this. And what more can you do if not to tell your father? Huh? What more can you do? No man in his right senses will not think that you're one of those brats sleeping around with your father. What? Is is this what you think of me? I don't know what you are. That I sleep with my Father. No. No. I don't really know what you are. But I might be right. Yes, I might be right. And listen, let me give you a word of advice. If you continue saying this or if you tell your father and he chases me away i'm a man i can go ahead and marry another woman but you you will never ever find a genuine love from any man this rubbish.
could he? Tell me, how is it my fault? I never asked him to take me to that kind of cheap restaurant in the first place. How could he? What nerve? Mm -hmm. Becky, you know your problem. You are acting spoiled. Yes, that's right. Spoiled. Wow. Jessica, just wow. So, expressing my dislike about something is me being spoiled. How does that even connect with anything? How? Men hate a nagging woman. Once you're perceived as a nag, it irritates them. It turns them off. So stop it. Irritates them? Yeah. Jessica, that bastard insulted me. Do you know what he said? He said, I behave like people who sleep with their dads. Just because I said I was going to complain to my dad about something he did. This is even the worst part of it, Becky. You report him to your dad. Do you know how that makes him feel as a full-grown man? Come on now. You shouldn't be saying all that. So now you care more about his feelings than mine, right? Okay. A minute. Did you hear the part? He, I, 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 I know I just told you that. Where he said that men will suspect that I sleep with my dad. My dad. Of all people. Can, can, can you imagine that? Becky, shut up. Keep quiet. You have to stop being overattached to your father. I mean, it irritates him now. Every small thing, I'll report it to my father, to my father. It doesn't sound nice. Ah! Grow up! Grow up, Jare. What's wrong with this one? I was the one who was insulted. She's the one who is nagging and getting angry. And she's trying to claim she has feelings and... Uh, excuse me? And now you're, te you're telling me how he feels? What nerve? Can you imagine? Who does that? Who? In this day and age, my dad. Who else am I supposed to be attached to? My dad. Come on. What? This is preposterous. I'm attached to... get? I'm attached to my dad. Uh, baby, I've been apologizing to you since morning. Why can't you just forgive me? Please. Is this the first time we are going through this route? Hmm? I told you that this thing between us cannot work. Uh, baby, please don't say that. It can work. That's why we're in this together. We'll make it work. I'm not in anything. Please, baby, please, forgive we are me. We're just in nothing together. Please, don't okay? do this to me. Forgive Excuse me. Excuse me. Please, please, don't leave me, please. Please, whatever you want me to do, I will do it. Whatever, I promise. Please. But don't just stop. It's okay, it's okay. I have forgiven you. But you have to do one thing for me. Anything, anything at all. I'll do it, I promise. Oh. Bibi, thank you so much for your understanding. Even though I totally messed up. Thank you. Thank Come you. on, it's okay. For what? I mean, I understood why you reacted that way. You know, every woman should... Uh, Prothetic man, especially when it comes to the kind of Namdi I used to know. Oh, thank God it's in Namdi you used to know, not me, not this one. Tell me, was it her bad? Well, Namdi used to be. <laughs> Guess what? He's totally behaved now. <laughs> Yes, get me. Okay, just get me water first, okay? okay? So. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm. 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 This actually tastes nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this actually tastes nice. The other that was telling you to test the meat. You were nagging. fighting. You were Stop fighting. Nagging. You can see men also nag. Come on. This is really nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Wow. Come in. I am so very happy about the decision you've made today. It is indeed a thing of joy for me. And uh, most importantly, it is happening at a profound point in time. Not just for me, but for my daughter and my family at large. You see my daughter here. Her happiness is a priceless thing to me. Something I don't and cannot compromise. And uh, um, I hope that I have single-handedly raised her to be a proud and great woman ever since I lost the mother. I just hope so. Uh, Becky, I'm sure you are very happy now. Oh, Dad, I am truly, truly happy. <laughs> Being your daughter, I chose right. You know, <laughs> if not that I am your daughter, I don't think I would have picked him. But since I'm your daughter, I have good taste, so I picked the best. <laughs> <laughs> Look, not just my daughter, a very cherished one at that. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> Namde. Oh, sir? It appears you are not with us in this conversation. I, I am. I am, sir. I'm here. I'm here. Just that I'm a bit distracted with something. And uh, what could that be? Is it uh, something that is crucial, serious, that we need to talk about? Not really. It's not something that's serious. It's just I have some things to do at the office. You know, which I'm supposed to do two days ago. Nandi, I keep advising you. Take it easy with work, okay? You, you are increasingly, you know, uh, overly engrossed and concerned about office work. And it ought not to be so. It's okay, sir. I will slow down. Good. Slow down. As a matter of fact, it's a command. Slow down. Okay? I am convinced beyond every reasonable doubt that both of you will make a perfect couple. <laughs> of course, sir. Of course. I'm so glad. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> But you still ask how I am. I'm not fine, Papa. The truth is I'm not fine at all. I know. Can I talk to you? Yes, you can, Papa. It's just all so shocking. I waited for Namdi 12 years. No complaints. Nothing. I rejected suitors that came for my hand in marriage. Only for him to come back and do this to me. Okay, um, you know what? I'll come to the house to see you and your mother, okay? No problem, Papa. I just want you to bear in mind that what he has done to me is not fair. I know. Very well, then. Sorry about that. Thank you, Papa. Okay. And this is not fair at all. This is single man. Please consider. If it were you, how will you feel? This is not fair. <laughs> so, my mom, where 
Where on earth have you been? Where at? I have been in the number one city of Nigeria. Where Abuja. Is that? What? You heard me. Abu heard. what? Abuja. I can't even stay there. It's too overrated. No, 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 no. Abuja. Hey. Go <laughs> okay, uh, you know, people who cannot afford houses in Abuja. That's how they talk. Right, so I, I, I'm, I'm not convinced. Look at this man. Meaning what? <laughs> well, I don't know what it means, though. But let's, by the way, let's talk about you. How have you been? Where have you been? And what have you been doing? My guy, see me now. I'm here doing my thing, doing what I'm supposed to do, working for Mr. Redfield. Know that. In fact, as we speak right now, he has made me the general manager in one of his companies. Really? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, my man. You don't say that again. Now I see the reason you don't want to take a step. What oh, now? We are happy. Well, that brings us to a very good point. Okay. How did you be talking about settling down with your village girlfriend you've been talking about? <laughs> I mean, get married and get responsible. And what if I tell you I'm getting married soon? Really? That's nice. Sir. Yeah, Unamdi. Um, please, I would like to do something here and now before you. Is it something very important uh, well of course <laughs> feel free to go ahead Becky please will you marry me yes yes she will <laughs> she will yes to this your village girl you've been glamouring and talking about all those years? You mean I don't know? Exactly. I thought you should be getting married to her. So, tell me what happened. Things are a bit complicated right now. I am getting married to Becky. Just to... Mm. Just impress the father. Are you aware that this might not go well if you're not careful? My brother, I have no option. I have no option right now. You know, Chief Rayfield has done some tremendous things for me. He has helped me a lot. So I don't think I can disappoint him at this time. You have chosen whom to disappoint. I understand you're doing all this as to reciprocate the kind gesture Chief Refuel has done for you. But don't you think it's going to jeopardize your happiness in what you stand for as a man? Think about it. I could not believe my eye when he made that move. <laughs> hey, hey, Are you saying he proposed to you in front of your father? I don't 
understand. Are you doubting me? No. I'm only trying to make sense out of it, you make know. Make sense out of what? This is sheer jealousy. Uh-uh. Why would you say that now? Why would I say that? Just look at the way you are behaving. You're supposed to be congratulating me, not... Uh, and who says I'm not happy with you? I'm happy. Well, your continent says it all. Oh. You're not happy. You know what? Whether you believe it or not, Namdi proposed to me. Mm. And I accepted it. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. Oh, that's too late. Not necessary. I actually don't need it anymore. Please excuse me. Hey. Wait, wait, wait! What do you mean, what happened? Didn't your mother call you to tell you what happened? Call me to tell me what? God. I know you're not here to remind me of the 12 years you waited for me. Please, I'm not here to remind you of any 12 years. Your mother beat me up at the market. My mother retaliated. And your mother arrested her, detained and arrested her for three days till now. What? My mother did that? Please, what? I'm not here to discuss 12 days or 12 years with you. Just instruct your mother to release my mother. Immediately. Please. Please. Hmm. It is that that she can play with me. I'm going to teach her a lesson she will not forget in a hurry. Eh? When I finish with her, hmm, from today she will start respecting me. After this incident, after this incident. <laughs> hey, Umamo! Oh! My son, oh, not the Umam. Umamo! Hey! Umamo! Umam! Mama, how could you? How could what? How could you? Uh, uh, hey, Mama! You're pretending as if you don't know what you did. You got Adana's mother arrested and also detained her too. Why would you do such a thing? They, they, they beat me up. They beat me up. Look at my body. Look at everywhere it's spraying me. Mama, listen. I do not care to know what she did. Go there and get them released. So, so you, you won't even believe me. You won't believe me, my son. Mama, do what I ask you to do. Just do exactly what I ask you to do. Son, you're back. Papa, why would you allow Mama to, 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 to arrest Adana's mother? Eh? And also detain her? <laughs> it's good you're here. Here she is. She doesn't listen to me. This woman doesn't listen to me. I have told her repeatedly to go and, 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 and release those women. She refused. She said she's, she's been insulting me. At every slightest opportunity, she abuses me. Uh, your father is sleeping with the, uh, uh, Eliza. That's why so uh, 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 always interested in her case. Yes. 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 Mama, 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 please, go there and get them released. I know you will not believe me. He's always stupid with that one. He's always saying you will not believe me. You will not believe me. You will not believe me. What, 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 has, what has come over her? Search me. I don't know. Mana, Papa. You're not going to fancy Eliza. More. You're not gonna fancy Elisa. More. Not possible. Babe, are you saying he traveled again today? Yes, so he said he had an emergency. What sort of emergency is that? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? You mean you didn't ask him? Ha! Did you just ask me that? No, 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 no. Did I hear what you said? Hey, 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 people of the world, see me. If I say something now, they will say I said something. 
Now I did not say anything, no. And they said I did not say anything. Please, what am I even supposed to do now? Hmm? Somebody answer me. Later, you will join him to accuse me of nagging. Babes, mm. there are some vital information you need to know about your man. What if he has a woman at home in the village? Excuse me? Are you for real? Are you talking about my man or someone else? Please. My man, Namdi, does not do that, okay? I am sorry. Better. I didn't say he did. I'm only saying what if. What if? And you're still repeating it. <sighs> Whatever. Don't, 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 don't do that, okay? I'll leave you to unpack. I'll be in the room. Can you imagine this girl, though? <sighs> Besides, I don't need to unpack anything. I've been waiting for over two hours now. I waited 12 years, and not for once did I complain. I never meant that. Well, I mean what I'm saying. You don't have to be too hard on me. What do you have to say? If you have nothing meaningful to say, I promise you I'll walk away from here. I wanted us to talk. What about? You and I. There is no you and I. You and I is in the past. If you don't have anything else to say, can I please leave now? At least you have to give me some chance and some time to talk to you. What do you have to say? What do you have to say to change what you did? What could you possibly say to me to heal the scar you've given me in my heart? What could you say to wipe away the entire shame you've put me through now? What do you have to say? There is nothing you or anyone can do to change this. Twelve years. I gave you twelve years and this is what I get. Since you came in here, you've been attacking me. You've not given me time to talk. Can you at least listen to me? Hear me out. My only crime is that I loved you. And this is not fair at all. This is human. Please consider if it were you. How will you feel? Get away. That is got to go. <laughs> Get me. Stop. My love, nothing in this whole wide world is capable of snatching you away from me. I know, Namdi. Sometimes I'm afraid. You're afraid of what, my queen? What if we don't end up being together? What if life happens and we don't end up together? What then? My love, nothing will happen. Nothing will ever happen to our love. Let me lose my mind the day I will marry another woman over you. No, you should put your hands over your mouth. 
Don't talk like that. Girls have ears. Spirits are passing. Words are powerful. Because no one knows tomorrow. I can't afford to lose you. No matter how hard I try. Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Whenever I see you, my heart skips. Whenever I set my eyes on you, I feel like fainting. <laughs> when did you add that? It's nice. I like it. And my heart. <laughs> Ada, Mama. you are still here? Yes, Mama, I'm still here. Uh -uh. Mama, there's something I need to tell you. Right now? Yes, Mama. No, my daughter. Let it wait until I come back. I'm already late for the women's meeting. No, oh? no Mama. You know what? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna take care of yourself, okay? I will. And take care of the house. I will. If it were you, how will you feel? This is not fair. Welcome back to me. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. You must be really tired. Very, very tired and very hungry. <laughs> I'm so famished. Is there anything to eat? Oh, baby. Well, when you called, I was still at Jessica's house. So I didn't have time to prepare anything. Besides, I don't know how to prepare your kind of meals. My kind of meal? Mm. Or you just don't know how to cook? <sighs> Why are you embarrassing me? You know what? I knew you'd be hungry. So I asked... The vendor to bring some food. <sighs> exactly. As usual. <laughs> What's that? You know what? Well, Let me get you water while we wait for the food vendor, okay? <laughs> it's okay. I'll be right back. Okay, here. Yeah. Baby. Yeah, baby. I couldn't sleep last night. I saw you again? No, not that. I was just thinking about you. I love you so much. And I appreciate everything you do for my dad. Thank you. That's okay. You see, your dad is just like a father to me. Yes. And I love you so much. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Because sometimes I feel truly afraid. I have a new slogan for okay. us. Okay, okay, say it, let me hear. Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Whenever I see you, you like it? I love it. And my own should be whenever I see you, or whenever I set my eyes on you, I feel like fainting. Oh. I'll faint. <laughs> Get up, it's made too much. <laughs> oh, I, I would just faint. Oh. Ah. Whenever I see you, I feel like. Oh, I would just faint. Monday. I want you to always stand by me. And just love me just the way I am. I promise I'll always be there for you. Always. I'll never leave you. 
like this new chapter. So whenever I see you, I rejoice. And whenever I see you, my heart escapes. Whenever I set my eyes on you, Baby. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just having a slight headache. Oh, so sorry. Let me just get you some medication. No, 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 no. Don't, don't worry yourself. I'll be fine. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Well, I've been meaning to ask you because you didn't tell me what you went to do in the village. Okay, my mother didn't get to see me. I have some things to sort out for her. Can't you hear I cry? Can't you see her pain after all her waiting for years? Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Whenever I see you, my heart skips. I am now a laughing stock. Babe? Yeah? What did you say? What? What? I, I thought you said something now. No, I did not say anything. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Whenever I see you, my heart skips. Babe? Yes? Did you say anything now? Are you sure you're fine? Because I didn't say anything. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm fine. It's okay. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Can't you hear a cry? Can't you see her tears? Can't you feel her pain after all her waiting? You're more than a friend to me. You're like a sister. I will tell you anything. I think something is happening with Namdi. He's been acting weird ever since he came back from the village. At first, he started hearing things. I, he, he would just look at me and say, if I said anything, when clearly I didn't. Later on, he held his head and started shouting, screaming. He gripped me so firmly that he was hurting me. <sighs> Jess, I'm truly scared. No, I, I, I got angry and I left. Thank you. Take care.
Now you have my attention. Say what you've come to say. Let's get it over with. I've been calling you, but you refuse speaking your calls. You asked for a listening ear, and I'm lending you one. Please, let's be done with this. Please. Babe. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry from my heart. Let's say for one minute. I believe you're actually sorry. I need a reasonable explanation as regards the stunt you pulled at your place yesterday. What was that about? You will not understand. I don't I'm just trying. know what came over me. I don't just know what came over me. I don't even know what's going on, you know. I mean, I think it's work stress. Okay, I'm actually overworking myself. Yeah, I'm doing that just to make daddy happy. You know, you know, you know your dad loves everything excellent, so I am trying my best to see that everything is going on well. Okay? Please try and understand me. I'm sorry. I understand you're trying to impress my dad. But dad himself also told you to rest. Try to always rest. You, you, you can keep overworking yourself all the time. Well, now that I know what the problem is, it's fine. I forgive you. I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. I'm so happy that you are now understanding. I'm always understanding. And I need to make Daddy happy. And you, make you happy too. Me first, Daddy second. Come here. <laughs> Can't you hear my heart cry? Can't you see my tears? Can't you feel my pain? After all I waited for years, this is all you have. You said you had something you wanted to tell me. Yeah, my building in the village is ongoing and I would like to visit. This implies you'll be traveling again? Yeah, I'll be going to the village and I want you to go with me. What? No, nothing. But what if Dad finds out? Are you going to tell him? Because I am not going to tell him, so how would he know? Besides, we're getting married. But we aren't married yet. Anyway. You're going with me, right? Okay, fine. If you insist, then yes. Okay. I'll go with you. This is unfair. And this is not fair at all. This is human. Please conceive.
Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Whenever I see you, my heart skips. Did you say something now? Please, don't start this again. Don't start. Not now. Please. No, I, 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 I heard you say something now. Nandi, I didn't say anything. Don't come with this again. What's that now? Stop. Please, stop. Not, not now. Please. Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Whenever I see you, my heart skips. You just, you just said something now, right? Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Ah. What is going Stop, stop, stop. What are you saying? What? what? I, are you... What the, what's wrong with you? Uh, what? Uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Ah. Are you okay? Stop, please. You're hurting me. Stop. What's happening? Uh, you're... Oh. You're hurting me. Stop. Who do I call? Okay. Wait, let me get you some help. You're hurting me. Is he going to be all right? Of course. He'll be fine. He's only experiencing some anxiety disorder. But he's going to be fine. All he needs now is rest. Then what could be the cause? Because it's not the first time it's happening. Well, sometimes uh, it could be over worrying or over activities on a particular matter or some stress. But I believe you. He will be fine. He will be fine. There is no problem. I sincerely hope so. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. You really put my mind to ease. Thank you. There is no problem. God is God. Uh, I'll, I'll be coming back to check on him to know how he's faring. Okay. So if there's any abnormal reaction, Please don't hesitate to let me know. Of course, you'll be the first person I'll call. Thank you so much. It's all right. Thank you. I'll... You'll be fine, okay? Thank you. Thank God you. God is God. Thank you for coming so fast. Thank it's you. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. wrong with me? Does it mean that all the things I've said to other names is haunting me? What is going on? <sighs> no. I have to move on with my life and let them done be. Namdi. Namdi. I have to move on with my life. I have to move on with my life. And let Adani be. I just have to move on with my life. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy. Yeah, where did you come? 
Uh, not quite long ago. I must say, you went for the meeting. Yes. I, I, I saw a lady's bag. Oh. <laughs> My lady's bag is at first. Terrible. This is Becky. The girl I want to get married to. Yeah, I brought her so you meet her. Oh my daughter. Larry! You can't have my husband. Eh? Hey! Who is her father? Her father is the one I told you, my boss. I'm, I'm, I'm working for her father. Mm -hmm. And he's aware that we're getting married. Has already given us his blessings. Mm -hmm. I just brought her so you guys should meet her too. It's very thoughtful of you. Hey, Mamo, you want to see Oh, she had to me. Nandi. Nandi. You have made your decision. And as uh, your father, I ought to be alone with you. I give you my blessing. Um, uh, younger, Tiffany. Thank you, sir. You will have hold me. You have a meeting to attend. As you call it, Mr. Ross. Oh, my God, I'm not here. It's a black cat. Oh, my God. Welcome, eh? You will have to move. Yeah? You good? What is it again? How many times have I warned you to stop talking when I'm in a meeting? I am supposed to speak first. <clears throat> Nine. I don't understand though. I don't understand though. <clears throat> what don't you understand? Was I sp speaking in tongues? And secondly, I don't like that woman your son brought to this house. Nine. So Adana is the reason for all this nonsense. Eh? Come. The very day you start to reason the way I am, uh, the better for all of us. Yeah. Nandi. Yeah. You asked me to accompany you to your house. Why introduce me to your parents when you haven't properly told them about me? What do you mean by that? Did you see the way your father was behaving? It's so clear that he doesn't like me. Come on, Fitz. You don't have to talk like that. Huh? You heard my father say, you should feel at home. And my mother said that too. So you should relax. The, 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 the person who could have been the problem here is my mother. But well, she seems to like you a lot. Hey! 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 I thought you went for a meeting. Uh, when I came back, I saw you were trying to catch some sleep. So I had to allow you. I saw your mother and your wife to be driving around the village. Okay, she said she was going to the market. <laughs> uh, 
uh, going to the market. It's like you forgot the kind of woman your mother is. If she had not finished um, taking your wife to be about the, the village, showcasing her here and there, you know, I would have friends know. Is that what she would end up doing? That is not what she would end up doing. That was exactly what she was doing when I saw her. Mama. <laughs> Mama. Hmm. Dandy. There's something I've been wanting to tell you since you came around this time. Okay. What is it? I hope there's no problem. In all honesty, mm. there is a problem. What is it all about? It's about the woman you you brought back and introduced to you, your mother and I. So what about is it? Is that the woman you really want to get married to? Papa, you see, apart from the fact that her father made me who I am today, I've come to like and cherish Becky. Uh, she's the woman my heart longs for. Namdi, if you remember vividly, those were the same words you spoke about Adane. Papa, I hope this is not all about Adane. If it's not all about Adane, then who else? The tears of a cry tears my heart every night. When I watch you propose to her in my own very present that you are going to marry her before you leave the city. What has happened? Rather than being the man that you are, you allowing your mother to lead. Why? Papa, yes, I must have said some certain things to Adane when we were much, much younger. But I can't continue with those things now. I can't. After all, Mama is right. Adane and I we don't just fit each other. We don't belong to the same class at all. That says you cannot bring her to your own new class. Papa, I thought you were going to understand this whole thing. Huh? Why all this now? Why this again? It's about your future. Son, I do not want you to be indebted to your past. I want you to remember those things you said to her in my presence about your love to her. You professed your love to her. You promised her that your tomorrow was going to be with her. And here you are, it's a different game. Mama, my daughter. Hey, be good. What is it? Mama, eh? guess what? What? Do you remember her this? Oh, God. Calm down. What is it? Do you remember the scholarship exam I wrote four months ago? Yes, I remember. The one the Reverend Father enlisted you. Exactly, Mama. What happened? The result is out. Is it okay? Eh? Chimo, I've been giving the scholarship, Mama. That's the payment slip. Hey. Is it okay? No, I swear, Mama, I've been giving the scholarship. I don't know. Oh, no, Mama. Hey. Oh, Congratulations, 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 my daughter. Hey! Come on. Come on, read it. Am I dreaming? No, 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 no. I read it like five times. Mama. Read it. Come on, read it. It's so, Oh my god. That's my name. Hi! That's my name. Mom! God has done it. Father, thank you, Lord, I reverence your majesty. Baby, don't break now. Don't be too much depressed in the God. If I give you love. Can't you climb on me too? If I give you ladder, can't you climb on me too? Hey! Uh -uh. Mama, <laughs> where are you heading to? To your house, oh, but I'm glad I saw you. Hey, what is the matter? You have no way.
Adane won scholarship to study abroad. Eh? Are you serious? Yes, so. <laughs> You're joking. You're joking, Abi. You say joke. I am not joking. I am serious. See, very soon Adane will be going to abroad to study. Very soon. Eh? <clears throat> How did you get this information? Yes, of course. How did you get it? I overheard her mother telling her friend Obioma that it was even um, Reverend Father that bought the phone for Adani. Hey! Oh, Tokori! Eh? This is good news. Good mm -hmm. news, oh, serious. Hey! You know, this life, eh? This life, eh? You know, as Namdi will be there in the city, lavishing with all those stupid mm -hmm. city, 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 stupid girls. Adani will be in abroad, studying and dining with kings <laughs> and queens. Yes, oh, oh, this life is good. Oh, Very good. Ah, ah. She, whom was called a commoner, a common village girl, will hmm. very soon, I mean, very, very soon become an international lady. Hey, hey, hey. Go. Hey. You know, eh? let me say this prayer. Let me say this prayer. I pray that God, eh, God will continue making all those elders in this village, all those witches and wizards that do not believe in you and I. And you. God will God, God, God shame them for us. Amen. 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 I say amen on our behalf. Amen. Yes, so now back to let me wind back now. You say you're going to my house. That means you don't have anything you're doing. You are I have something I'm doing or you cannot or you want to insult me again. No. I wanted to say you're use you you, you useful. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I Please, Adam. Please. Take good care of my daughter. Pico, she's all I have got. Mama, you don't need to cry anymore. Adana here is in a good hand. She is very, very lucky. Hmm. You see, she happens to be the only one among this entire region to win the scholarship. It's good. Oh, it's good. And as for her well-being, she's fine. Should be very fine. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Thank you. Little less to say that from time to time she'll be reaching out to you oh, so that you know how she's very. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I miss you. Much deep praise in the God. If I give you love, can't you climb on me? Too? If I give you love, can't you climb on me? Too? Your future is brighter. You must make it. Your future is brighter. You must make it to life. And I never go. And I never. I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> we should be going, you know. We should oh. be going, please. We should be going. Hey. <laughs> Whenever Nandi wants to take you for shopping, you carry me along with you. Girl. Eh? Oh, Mo, this your man has money. You. Eh? I like you spend all your friends more now. Eh, just more. Eh? <laughs> Listen, mm. I never knew we were going shopping. Okay. In fact, we actually went to one of his friend's chicken restaurant. And he said he knew how much I liked shoes. So on our way back, he decided to get me a few shoes. Uh, babe, let me take it. Uh, okay. You can just look at it and relax, okay? Easy now. I'm your friend. <laughs> just one. It is that now. Stop being a beggar. Must uh -uh. you beg? I like good things. That's oh. it. Just give me one. <laughs> uh, my friend. Oh, come on. Just look and don't beg. 
Okay, you know what? Let me just one. Okay. One. Yes. Let me check. Hey, beautiful oh. No, not this one. I think. Yes, this should do. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> For waking you up. I had a nightmare. No, 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 no. No, I'm not okay. I saw Nandi's father. He was trying to kill me. I told you that he has never liked me. That's why he's trying to kill me. You know what? Never mind. I, I think I should just call my dad. Don't you make alternative arrangements for them? We can eh, so that will go. Eh? Let them be coming. Uh, eh? What do you think? Maybe we should make alternative arrangements now for, for her to come and, and cheer me. Let's wait. Let's wait. We should wait. Eh? Okay. Okay. Wait, eh? Let's wait. You know, women and they are gilly and you know. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait.
sister, I've done this to Namdi. My sister. My sister, I don't know. I was shocked when I heard it. Namdi of all people is now a madman. I saw him with my two eyes like hey. that. Madman. Mm, he deserves what he got. He deserves it. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. How, can, how can a woman give you her heart for 12 good years? 12 you years. Just, you just pieces. You know, Bia, but why are just like that? He ripped exactly what uh -uh. he sold. The mother is now calm now. She, her head has calmed down. How will she be calm? Hmm. Eh? Yes, so. But I wish it was the woman. I would have been happy. Me too. Yes. Ah, ah. Me too. How many? How many is too much? Too, too much. Come to think of it, though. Ugo, are you sure Adane and her mother are not behind this? Who knows? Eh? Hey! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't it impossible, though? Yes, now. Hey! Why didn't I think of this? It is possible Adane must have cursed him. You say curse. Hey! See, Ugo, this thing looks doesn't look like a curse to hey. me. It looks like they've charmed him. This is serious charm. Hmm. Well, you know he brought this to himself. Mm -hmm. He yes. brought this thing to himself. Mm -hmm. eh? Twelve good years of relationship. Okay. How can somebody give you give you her heart for My twelve dear. years? It will be a Kawa, Ikawa, yeah, just without, like that. without conscience. Without conscience. Without conscience. No, no. He has lived from where he saw exactly. exactly. He yes. deserves what he's getting. He yeah, ripped, I, mean, I will not I will not sorry for him. Oh. Ah, he mm. ripped exactly where he saw. He's wicked. Yes. Because ah. what's that? <sighs> oh. All she needs now is rest. She needs a good rest. That's all. It's all right, doctor. I will make sure she gets the necessary rest that she needs. Okay. Okay, sir. However, if you think that um, transferring her to the hospital will give her opportunity to have better medical care, just let me know and I will oblige. Okay. Well, you have no problem, sir, at all. You don't have any problem. It's all right. Um, another thing, in the event that you need anything, capital or otherwise, don't hesitate to ask. I'll provide anything you need because she's the only one I've got, okay? All you need to do now is to distance her from whatsoever that has anything with why she's in the condition she is now. Distance her from that. That's all you need to do now. It's all right, doctor. So I will have to go and take good care of my daughter, okay? There's no problem, sir. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, God is God. I wish I were. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye, sir. Yeah. Becky, open this door. What is wrong with you? Open the door. Becky! Becky! What's going on here? Is it not your friend? Huh? She locked herself in there. Since morning she has not eaten. Crying all day. Don't you want to kill me? Becky! Just go out, I'll talk to her. Okay? Please. Talk to her. Talk to her. In my scale of preference, her health is number one. I don't know me because she knows that I love her so much, she wants to kill me. Becky!
Jessica, I heard you calling Becky. Where, where is she? I didn't see her in her room, so I, I came out here to look for her. <laughs> what is wrong with this girl? Does she want to kill me? No, Daddy. Just go inside. Don't worry. I'll fix it, okay? I'll find her. Oh, so where is she now? Oh, is she going to kill herself again? What, what is this? Daddy, don't say that, please. Just go inside. I'll find her, please, eh? She should be somewhere. I'll, I'll find you, her. You didn't say her that way? No, no. See her? No, you see her. What is she doing in this place? This time of the night. What is she doing here alone? Huh? Daddy, don't worry. Just just go inside. I'll, I'll, I'll handle it, please. Talk to her. Talk to her. Okay. Becky. Becky. What are you doing outside here by yourself? Huh? At this time of the night? I'm sitting. I hope you're not trying to do anything stupid. I wasn't trying to do anything stupid. Hmm. I just wanted some time alone to myself. By this time of the night? Why are you, why are you now behaving like my father? All cynical and judgmental. I don't get it. Please. I just wanted some fresh air. My dear friend, your father's health does not need this whole stress now. Huh? Look at me. I left my house to come and be here with you. If I don't care, I wouldn't be here. So stop doing this. This sounds really funny. Because no one is thinking about me. You're still talking about yourselves, your father, yourself. I don't understand. Who is thinking about me? Who knows what I'm going through? Who understands how I feel? This is, this is happening with me. This is my life now. Me, 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 and you're not talking about me. We all do care about you. If we don't, we wouldn't be bothered like this. Huh? It's, it's, it's about time you put Namdi behind you, where he belongs. I never, ever want to hear that name ever again. Every night, every day, I sit down and just imagine and remember the embarrassment he put me through. I don't even know where to hide my face. So please, do not mention that name. Don't ever in your life okay it's fine. fine can we at least go inside now please i need some fresh air i refuse let's go inside please becky you can force it to the river but you can force it to take water jessica becky, i need some time to stop myself, doing please. this let's go inside it's late your father is worried in there let's go inside Did you get to see Namdi? Namdi again. <laughs> Becky, I thought we've, you know, passed through this stage. What is what's wrong? Why are you asking after him? Can you just answer the question, Jess? <sighs> well, Namdi is still alive, though his condition is getting worse every day. Namdi's situation is unexplainable. He doesn't go to work. He doesn't recognize anyone. In fact, his doctor said 
is suffering from a major psychological impairment. What? Oh, listen, it's not like forever. Okay, so calm down. Wait, how come you and dad kept this from me? Wait, I don't understand. You, you, you both felt like there was no need for me to know what was going on. Becky. Do you think you're actually doing me good right now? Becky, can you just stop this blame game? Okay? Because you said that you don't want to know anything about Anandi. So why are you asking me this? I never said if he was dying, I should not be told. And I didn't say he was dying, did I? What is the difference? Oh, please. Huh. You know what? I need to go see him. What? Becky! Are you seriously doing this right now? No way. You know I wouldn't let you do that. I wouldn't let you go and see that young man. After all, I think Nandi actually got what he deserved. I, I don't understand what you mean. I mean, you, you too? Oh yes, I was too, but not until we got to know the truth about him. How do you mean? Well, some people said he got into ritual back at home and also into a blood oath with his girlfriend. So when he walked out from the relationship from the said lady, the ritual and the blood oath backfired on him and that's what um, tormented him. Lies. All lies. <laughs> no, they will never. You know what? I know him. A lot of you don't know anything about him, but I know, I truly know him, and he will not do such a thing. And trust me, I will get to the bottom of this, okay. definitely. I wish you luck. I wish you luck, my friend. So, Pastor, this was what happened. And Namdi's traditional marriage never held again. Ichokoro, you sound as if you are finished. You sound as if there is no God. But I'm here to bring your memory back that God is still in existence. In a time of life like this, there is time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 said, in times of, in the time of life, there is season and there is time. Time to be sick and well, time to die, time to born. Are you hearing me? So, the time you are now does not mean that you are finished. I think it's the best time for you and God. You know, because you may be, you may be thinking you have intimacy with God. At times, problems will bring, draw us very close to God. So, what could be wrong? What could cause your son predicament? You see, everything that happened to my son was caused by his mother. You see, now I believe that what the Bible says, that the worst enemy of man, you know, comes from his household. My wife, the mother of my son, is the reason why my son is in this state. It, it, it just changed everything about my soul. It just... It's your girl, calm down, calm down. I still sense that you are still having grudges against your wife. Why not forgive her and allow God, give God the opportunity to do what he's supposed to do in the life of your son? Huh? So the issue of your wife and all that, I don't think just forgive her and allow God to do what he's supposed to do. Let me just shock you. God is still in control. So how is your son doing? Pastor, my son is really, really bad. He is not getting better. I am gradually losing it because I just can't bear the fact that my son is no longer the person I know. Like I said, this is not the time to cry. This is the time to call upon God. 
Psalm 50 verse 15. He said, call unto me in the time of trouble. So crying will not solve this at all. So I think the best thing for us to do is for us to pray. Huh? Be prayerful and you will see your son come back to life. In fact, let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the healing of man, your son. Papa, there's something I'm not getting straight. Why do we have to bring Namde back from the best hospital in the country back to the village? The doctor said the case is beyond medical explanation. The diagnosis is saying nothing. So that's why we brought him here. Papa, in that case, we need to take Namde abroad for better medical treatment. Papa Nandi cannot remain like this. My son cannot remain like this. Oh, hey. Oh, um, one. Taking him to abroad for treatment is a very good idea. But how do we get the money? How do we source the fund? It's going to take a whole lot of money. Chief Refuel wanted to do that earlier on. So I suggest we go back to him. He can be of help. My son, are you sure he can still do that? Mama, I think I know that as I know my name. Chief Refu is a kind-hearted man. Besides, Nandi has worked and served him all his life. He definitely needs to do something, and I know he will do something. What else can we do? When the best hospital is even confused, eh? They have finished my son. If you don't have something important to say, you better keep quiet. Yeah? You, sh you, you, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are the beginning and the end of, of, of why Unamdu is like this. And look at you talking this way. <laughs> you know, eh? <laughs> you are the most stupid, foolish and useless husband and useless father. Eh? Me. Oh, but all the other your son is going to, you open your mouth to vomit you rubbish, vomit <laughs> nonsense. Why would you be talking to me like that? Look at the other your son is going to, I know you can vomit his nonsense from your mouth. Fight before I fight you. Peter, Nambi, you beat him. Papa, I think that's what we need to do. Nam, they need to be flown out of the country. Because he has taken treatment virtually in all the best psychiatric hospitals in town. But all to no avail. I don't know. Is my son going to be well? Namdi will be fine. Once he gets a better treatment, he'll bounce back to his feet again. One more thing, Papa. What could that be? I, I think you and Mama need to move over to Namdi's house in the city. That will help to put an eyes on him and his properties. Lest I forget, what about the house he's building here in the village? It was completed uh, barely a week before the incident happened. Uh, but if uh, Mama and Papa move over to his house in the city, what about this house? Who will be taking care of here? And also the new site? That won't be a problem at all. Um, they're only going there for a while. And besides, the city is not far from the village. So with time to time, Papa can come in to check. 
It's no problem. Okay. That's me. You have oh, 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 always wanted to beat me. So don't use our, our son as an excuse. Azuka, thank God people were here then now. Must you punch me, Dad? But that's, that's the only way I could make our son believe that I wasn't faking it now. And my God will punish you for that. Ah, it's Why? okay, Papa. Uh, Mama, it's okay. Mama, it's okay. It does not go to you. It's okay now. It's just, just It's him. okay, my wife. Eh? Eh? Mama Nambi. Um, mm, hey, you're enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was very good. But I don't want that to dilute it. That's too good. Did anybody look for me? No. Not at all? Not at all, Daddy. Oh, my dear. I'm just coming back from um, Mazio Koro's house. Mm. Just to say hi to him. You know what I see? What happened? Everywhere is locked up. I asked the neighbors, they said he traveled to the city with his wife and that the nun has flown abroad for proper treatment. Did you see that? Ah. Wait, oh. You mean your friend, Nandi's father, traveled and did not tell you that he was traveling with his family? Adam, he did not tell me anything. I was with him two days ago. He only told me that his uh, in-law is doing some preparation, some arrangements, so that they can take him to overseas for treatment. He never told me that he'd be traveling to the city with his wife. You see that kind of thing? You see what? You, know that? If you, you, have you seen it? About who? This is good. These are the kind of people you call your friends and your family. Imagine, see, I am very sure, I'm very sure, I can feel it inside my heart that it is that his wicked wife that told him not to tell you that they are traveling. And that's not about family. If you go near, no. This is the only time you can be talking. Only yes. time, okay. Papa, I am always right. You are, you are correct, actually. No, but, I am uh, always correct in everything I say. It's okay. Enjoy yourself. You, every you day, are, you are going to You can only be right now. Every day. I, I, I know you. I am going to go to Fernandes' house. I am going to go to Fernandes' house. Now they have told the devil that they are traveling. And what are you? If you go near, you need for family. You will leave me every day, abandon me in this house. You are going to go and see your friend. Oh, yeah, now go to empty house and go and visit them in empty house. Yes. Ah. She's ready. Yes. <laughs> Good to have you here. How are you? Hi. Fine. Um, Austin said you, you've been out of town. Oh yes. I actually traveled out of the country on a business trip. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. Sit down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh. So, how are you guys doing? I can see that you're looking great. Yes, we are fine, sir. We're yeah. fine. Except uh, grappling with the thought of losing his son. Ah, come on. You speak as if we've already lost an day. You'll be very shocked that one day he will just walk through that door, hell and hearty. Wow. Hmm? <sighs> Amen. No, Austin has to join him. Oh yes, uh, I'm aware of that. As a matter of fact, um, Austin used to give me feedback as per the happenings there, you know. And um, it will interest you to know that uh, Namdi will be returning in two weeks' time. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> what? Yes, <laughs> that is it. You know, that's, that's, that's good news. <laughs> yes. And, um, He's not, um, you can see that now this is not just uh, getting better. He's returning okay. home. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Eh? Hey. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, oh to my hear. God, please. <laughs> Let this happen, please, God. Oh, come on, man. It has happened already. Oh. Uh, now this is fine. He's coming home. Thank you for the great Okay. News. Thank you, thank you for the great news. Right. <laughs> oh, so what right. do we get, uh, can I get you? Oh, come on. Don't break now. Don't be too much. 
much the praise in the God. If I give you love, got you climb on me. This is amazing. I know. How did you do this? Nothing, Mama. I contributed nothing. How? The state government gave it to me. Furnished and they handed the keys over and also commissioned the psychiatric hospital. Why? Because I bagged the first class. Just like that. Just like that. Jimek. You like it? Eh? Like it. <laughs> I die here. <laughs> hey! Um, I can stand here and dance. Hey! You know what you always say? Mm. What God cannot do does not exist. In fact, when I see the My daughter. Are you saying that that's your hospital? It's really meant for mad people. Oh no, Mama. Besides, they're not my people, they are mentally deranged and we have different practices. Mm. So we also render services to other people, not just the mentally deranged one. Ngwan, what is your specialty? I'm a psychiatrist, a certified one. Like your mind people. Oh my goodness. Mama. I hope they won't bite you one day. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. No, Mama. I do have friends who are into other practices though. So. Uh, the other people you have in your hospital, do they study abroad too? Just one. And then the rest were deployed by the state government. Hmm. <sighs> you are doing good, my daughter. Thank you. I know that God is solidly behind you. God is solidly behind you. This is your time. So, grab it. Okay? <laughs> I guess it's the time we've always talked and dreamt of. Hmm. My time. Thank you, Mama. You made me so proud. Hi. God bless you. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> My sister, I have always known that a very big disgrace was awaiting those who fought us. Now, where are they? Mm. Where are they today? Tell me. Mm. My dear friend, like my daughter will always say, that God does not bless us to prove a point to our enemies. He just does it because he's a good father. Mm. <laughs> my sister, my sister, I don't agree to that. I don't agree to that. To uh -uh. Can you imagine this big house? Mm. Can you just look at this big house. My dear. Uh, you remember that Adane told us that her hospital is the biggest? Eh? <laughs> My dear, I don't have anything to say. I know that God has been so faithful to my daughter and I. Okay. I mean, starting from that scholarship, ah, I knew that God has something for me in stock. Okay? Eh? So, just like my daughter will always say, God does everything beautiful in the end. My dear, was it difficult for you to look at it? My dear, the people living in your house in the village are the people that told me that you now live in a sketch of the village. Hmm. And who is she? Hmm. She's one displaced woman. I've known from the market for some time now. Oh, really? She and her three daughters were living in an uncompleted building close to the market. Sure. No, no one to cater for them. In fact, I was heartbroken when I saw them. And I was so fond of her second daughter, Adugo. Mm. Hmm. She, she visited from time to time. Oh. Hmm. And they are really turned good for you. I'm also proud of you. You know, hmm. I've been always proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, my good friend. What will I say? 
I have nothing to say than to thank God always for his kindness in my life and my family. And when God has blessed us, we spread our hand to allow others partake from that blessing. Exactly. <laughs> This is how it should be. The one is a bomb, mother, right from time. <laughs> hey, my friend, I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, I'm so happy to now see that you. Now that you have known here, I, I want to be seeing you steady. Uh huh. And I just want you. Mama, hmm? I am done with the dishes. Is there any other thing you would love me to do for you? <laughs> you have virtually done everything. Eh? Do you want to redo them again? What about your dirty clothes? But you washed my clothes two days ago. Mommy, that was two days ago. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hmm? Okay. Thank ma. you very much. Yes, hmm? God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. Okay. I'll start going. No problem. My regards to your mother and your siblings. Oh? Yeah, ma. Thank you very much, yes, my dear. Eh. My dear. I kept something in the kitchen for your mother and your siblings. Okay. So go and get them. Hmm? Some yam and um, some bunches of planting. Thank you very much. Mm? My mother will be very, very grateful. She has not stopped thanking you for the 20,000 you gave to us yesterday. It's alright. God bless you, ma. Bless I you appreciate too. it. Thank it's you. Okay, it's okay. I'm happy doing it. Mm? It's alright. <laughs> alright, ma. Let okay. me go. Yes, uh, pass through the backyard. The driver will drop you. Okay, ma. I've instructed Thank him. Thank you, ma. Alright. Bye. Mm. Oh. You like it, right? Mm -hmm. Good. My daughter, Ma. you have made me so proud. <laughs> In fact, I am a proud mother today. I'm glad. Who could believe that our life could change for this better? It's God. He wanted us to go through everything we went through so we will appreciate this day. Almost in a twinkle of an eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> ten years seemed like yesterday. I mean, it took us ten My years daughter. to get here, but... My own daughter. Mm -hmm. My very Adam <laughs> eh, is now a certified, trained medical doctor. A American twin for that matter. Mm -hmm. Not anyhow <laughs> country. A American, country. American Hey! Mom, God bless you. More <laughs> and more. God bless you more and more. Hi. Hey. Pa will be so proud, right? I wish, I wish your father were here to see this day. How right. God has how God has been merciful to us. He will be extremely proud wherever he is. And that makes me happy. Hmm. I remember Namdi. Mm. And all his ordeal. Mm. I strongly believe that none of these things would have happened to him if his mother had not torn his heart away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember that name anymore. Besides, I heard the flame I brought several times and it all came to nothing. Chai. Life is fickle. Namde has fallen like Iroko. And we may never see him rise again. Mama. Is you? Don't curse. I'm not cursing. Don't no. curse. But the way it is, that, that is mother, eh? That woman with her sharp patata mouth. Don't curse. Hmm. Hey! Yeah. Is it too cold? Mm -mm. Should, Where is it? should I blow it? <laughs> oh, doctor! Abu Gol Munedo. Mama, Abu Makabigun. Mama, doctor. Abu Makabigun. Hey. Mm. God is wonderful. Hey. Mm. I heard she has even taken her mother with her to, to, to her new house. Yes, so the woman is now enjoying the fruits of her level. Mm. If you see her now, 
My sister, you will not believe it. Are you serious? She has changed. Are you serious? She's now looking pushed. Hey! Hey! Good evening everyone. Welcome to Medical News at 4. My name is Catherine Leos. Today we are going to discuss on mental health disorder. With us in the studio is Dr. Adane Ejike Chukwemeka. She is an American trained psychiatrist. Welcome to the studio, ma. Thank you very much. So ma'am, what do you have to tell us about mental health disorder? I'm here to talk about mental illness, also known as mental disorder, because it's the week of mental awareness, you know, mental disorder awareness. Just bringing it into the consciousness of people that most times what you diagnose personally might just not be what is wrong with that person. So mental disorder is a condition that causes serious disorder in a person's behavior or thinking. Now, here in Nigeria, when somebody begins to act weird or act funny, we just term it all as madness. So in this awareness period, I want people to know sometimes it's just not madness. It could be anything. It could be bipolar disorder, it could be clinical depression, it could be anxiety disorder. There are different phases to them and that is what our practice is saying. We are saying that we have equipment, we have uh, manpower expertise to help Azuka. detect exactly what is wrong with Azuka. or this group of people and then start treatment immediately. I would say that for now, we have the best facility to take care of any form of mental disorder or mental illness that anybody is going through. You see that? See what? The person on the television is Adani. That village smelling prostitute, you call her that time, is the one having a prestigious interview right now on television. She's a doctor. And the trial is certainly going to convince you because we just can't put them on the streets when they can be managed in a facility. Impossible. It can never be a done. What's impossible about this? You can't see you can't see clearly again. Okay, maybe now we should try and get you glasses. That is a damn name we are looking here now. None. And that's why we're welcoming every single person into our facility. We're saying, come and see what we have. We can test them. We can check them out and separate exactly, I'd say, the wheat from the shaft. What is wrong? And start treatment immediately. You have started seeing things, so. Eh? Is that why you called me? Even with this, you still can't find anything good in Adane. Is that what you're saying? It's not Adani and it will never be Adani. Wait, was that really Adani? Hmm. Hmm. Even if she was Adani, what can she possibly do for our son who has been front abroad for treatment? Yet nothing positive happened. The program just ended. And from the way she sounded, I'm sure my son had a great chance with her. So, Baba, where do I come in? I want to reach out through you. I'm afraid she wouldn't want to talk to me. If she knows I'm behind it. Where is the hospital located? Oh, Asuka distracted me. I'm sure that was when they, were, they mentioned the location of the hospital. What do I do now? What, what are you doing? Papa Wood TV station aired the program. DBS Channel 4. DBS? Yes. Right. You know you with them? The world is digitalized now. You can get any information you want. Okay. Just, okay. Just give me a minute. Let me get their contacts. Hello. 
Am I on to DBS TV station? All right, my name is Austin. I am calling in respect of the program that you just concluded on your TV station. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm so sorry I was engrossed with this. It's sorry. okay. I was the one that called you earlier. Oh, Mr. Austin. Yes. Okay. Um, please, I urgently need your help. I need you to save my friend. Calm down. Your friend will be fine. We always do our best. Where is he now? He's with the father. Oh, uh, okay. So let's, let's go see him. But, do you pray? Yes, I do. I always say this to my clients and patients. I believe strongly in God. So pray. He's the only one that heals. Shall we? Sure. Mama, what is wrong? Are you alright? I'm fine, Mama. Why are you not eating your food then? Just not hungry. You don't like what I prepared? No, no, it's not that, Mama. They brought Nandi to the hospital today. Nandi himself could not, I looked at him like this. I didn't recognize me. Hmm. Life is so deep, like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> How could Ichi Okoro recognize you? When his wife's wickedness has eaten up his... his, his sight. Eh? Mama. Work ethics or no work ethics, I will not attend to them. My daughter, whatever your decision is, I, your mother, is solidly behind you. I support you. Ah, support you, dear Emeka. Try and eat now. Can't. Should I go and make? Oh, no, I'm fine, really. I just. This one that uh, was sitting all alone. I hope we are safe. What is that supposed to mean? Am I supposed to be jumping up and down like a mad woman? Well, madness goes to those uh, who deserve it. What do you mean? Come on, Nan. My husband. I don't understand what you told me about Adanda. Do you actually went to the hospital to confirm if she was the same doctor almost everyone in the entire country is talking about? I told you. <laughs> you wanna listen? Hmm. Anyway. Adane has sworn that he will not want to say or do anything about Nandi. Courtesy of you. Uh, listen, Nani, I don't care who Adane is or what she has. Mm. Even if a prostitute turned herself into Jesus Christ and decided to heal the whole nation, she's still an idiot. Can you hear yourself? You will never change. I know you will definitely never change. God have mercy on you. But pray. Pray so hard that Adana changes his mind towards our son. Else 
Else what? What can a poor village pastor do, do to my son? A man that has been taken to all over the whole world, yet for a medical treatment, yet nothing happened. And you are here, treating me with a poor village doctor, prostitute, eh? Who went to oversee to sleep with everything I had. And he then came back here to deceive all of you. You see that prostitute? She will never deceive me. She won't. My daughter, I, I have come to beg you. I know you have no reason to listen to me, but I, I, I... Papa, I asked my secretary to let you in because I needed to appeal to you myself. Please, do not create a scene in my office. I need for you to leave and stop coming to see me. Yes. What happens to my son? I don't care. I will not do any favors for your son. My best advice to you is to take him to another facility. I will not handle his case. I will not have anything to do with him. I will not. And if I get so crazy and tired, I'll ask security to take him out so that way you can move him to another facility. Sleep these days. I went to your room, you were not there. I feel so guilty, Mama. But then again, I have this urge to avenge every single thing this family did to me. What happened, my daughter? The Chiokuro was at the hospital again today. But I thought you told me you asked him never to step his foot in your hospital again. But he came today crying and begging. But I still asked him out of my office. He was crying and begging? Yes. Why? Remember. That one is not good. Mm -mm. See, my daughter, in our culture, it is wrong for an elder to cry before a child. Eh? I'm not going to debate culture and tradition with you. Where was culture and tradition when they maltreated me? I will not let them get away with what they did to me. Twelve years. No. No. My daughter. Remember Ichokoro was not in support of his wife's evil. To you. You even told me yourself. They are a family, Mama. As far as I'm concerned, that family have hurt me and I will not forgive them. His family. I don't care who did and who did not, who was there and who wasn't there. came back from the city. So I said, let me come and see him. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, Nand is not here. He has gone out with his father. Ah. Mm, he went out with his father. Hey. 
And somebody just told me now that he drove in with this car. Eh? So my son has not even settled down. And they have started gossiping about him. Eh? So you mean I'm lying or what? No, oh, Mama. Hey. No, I didn't mean it that way. I was just thinking that maybe... Well, that's what? You felt that I am lying to you. I, Azoka, is lying to you. Are you being so stupid? Mama, it hasn't gotten to that. I'm very sorry if you feel that way. Eh? Hey, has not gotten to that. Please. That was in the past. You say you, I don't want to ask my son to mingle with you anymore. A low life class like you. Just get out of my company, please. Eh? What Mama, has changed? Mama, Mama, in, in, enough of this. Please. What is going on now? Mm. Eh? Nand, you get out of my company. Mama, stop, Mama, stop I go... this now. Eh, stop, stop, no, 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 Mama, don't like... Stop. Don't... Get out of my company, please. Don't... Come back here. Come back here. I'm not going anywhere. Come back here. Mama, Come on, Mama, get inside. Mama, Mama, what's going on here? Eh, what's wrong? Ah, uh, well, why are you doing this now? What's wrong, Nunu? What's wrong? Ada. If I see you in this compound again, I will deal with you. Go, go, go. Mama. Namdi, tell me what your mother has asked you to come and say to me. This has nothing to do with my mother. It has everything to do with your mother. And the fact that she has refused to let go of our relationship. She has refused to let go of you. And the most annoying thing that's... And the most annoying thing is that you keep defending her. In, in, enough. Enough of that. I can't have you talk to me in that manner. God. All I'm trying to do is that... that uh, is what? Is what? All you're trying to do is what? Why did you bring me here? You called me out here and you haven't said anything. Why did you bring me here? We just have to call it a quit. I don't think I can continue with, with this. Twelve years. Twelve years and this is what you say to me. After everything we've been through, after all the sacrifices I have made, this is what you say I to me. Know, I don't know, Liz. I don't listen to me. Listen to me. I, I can explain. What do you I... want to explain? What do you want to say to me? This is what you say to me after 12 years. Please, what, what Thank are... you. Thank you for making me a laughing stock in this village. This is what you say to me. After all her for years, this is all you have to say to her. This is all you have to say. Okay. I am now a laughing stock tomorrow. After all my sacrifice. Everything remains the same. Nothing has changed. There's no improvement at all. I don't know what to do. Excuse me. Hello, Dr. Danny. <sighs> Mr. Austin. Um, he's at home here with us. Yes, ma'am. I am going to be sending down a team of freak doctors to come pick up Namdi and bring him to the hospital. Really? Oh. That would be nice. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Is it the same? Papa, there is a good news. She says she's sending a team of doctors to come get in Namde. Is she serious? Yes. Thank God.
Um, can I please see you in my office, Doctor? All right, thank you. You sent for me. Yes, Doctor Williams. I want you to put me in charge of Namdi's treatment and supervision. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. I'd also like for you to send me every single paperwork I need to sign so I can have them signed and sent back to your office. Mm. I will look into it. Thank you. You're welcome. God, please. I have no idea what I'm doing. But if it is your will, then please help me out. I have no idea what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. Namdi, right? Adane. Um, Namdi. Good evening, Adane. No. Where is she? Your parents have gone together, Danne. The nurses already told me that you've been asking for Danne since you got here. Mm, so your Danny. parents have gone to get her. But we need for you to be good. Stay still. Let's get your vitals. Your blood pressure, your temperature. So I we want, can begin to work. I want Adanne. Um, I said Adanne is on her way here. Mm. If you see Adanne, will you recognize her? If you see her down there, will you recognize her? Yeah. If you if you see her down there, will you recognize her? Yeah. Okay. Where is she? She's on her way. Down there. Whenever I see you. I rejoice. Whenever I see you, my heart skips. Whenever I see you, I rejoice. Whenever I see you, my heart skips. Okay, we are going to... Namdi. Namdi, can you hear me? Namdi. Namdi. You want us to get you a Danne? Namdi. Namdi. Is that your name? Namdi. Am I correct? No, just calm down. Lie down. Lie down, Namdi. We need to check your blood pressure, we need to check your temperature, we need to check your vitals to know how well you are doing. Um, you are in a medical facility. Your parents brought you here because there are some concerns about your, your health. What is happening? No, nothing is happening. We just wanted to take your vitals. Um, to see how you're doing before we commence treatment. I, 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 I don't know who's here. She, she spoke to me. Okay. Yes, yes, she, she did. And like I told you, she's on her way. Your parents went to get her down there. Papa. Mama. I ask again. Where is her down there? Mama, what did you do to her? Where is she? Nand, I never expected you to ask that stupid question after regaining consciousness, eh? Look at, instead of you to think about how to go to Becky's house to settle with her family, eh? You are here talking about someone who does not even exist. Who someone exist? you don't even know. Who doesn't exist? Uh -uh. Eh? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't exist. If I don't exist, then who? Becky? Yes, Becky is... Uh, um, Nandi. Try to calm down, please. But don't tell me to calm down. 
Don't tell me that. You're making me to look as if I don't know what I'm talking about. Huh? I'm asking of Adane, and you people are here, both of you are here, fusing words. Where is she? Uh, uh, Namdi, I, I know you know what you're saying, I agree with you. But remember what the doctor said. He said you must not try to stress yourself to remember everyone at the same time. Papa, there's a difference between asking of someone and trying to remember someone. I'm asking of Adane and both of you are here trying to fuse words with me. I'm just asking a simple question and both of you are making fuse of the question. I mean, can't you answer me? Answer my question. Where, 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 where is she? Nandi, there's a big problem here. Adane is... Ah, Nani, what are you trying to do? Why are you trying to make things worse? Eh? Ma 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 Why do you want to confuse our son? Mama, wait, 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 wait first. No, 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 you wait. Why are you, why, why are you shoving him off? Allow him to talk. Papa, please go ahead and talk. Your mother is partially right. Partially right? As in what sense? I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't know, no longer exist. She died a long time ago. In the village. Everyone in the community mourned her. Even up to now, no one has been able to overcome the loss. What? Oh my God. That was how the whole incident happened. Uh, everyone cried and mourned them like the death of two great kings. Oh, so you're trying to tell me that up till now, no one is able to find out who set the house ablaze, no where Adane and the mother was. No one. No one had been able to. Besides, what has that got to do with it without bringing Adana and her mother back? Papa, I won't let this one be. I must definitely find out. You're talking like this happened yesterday. This was about 10 years ago. And if you want to hunt down the killers, I'm sure they would have all been dead by now. So, why trouble yourself? Of what use? I must definitely make my findings to know who did this to them. Oh. Where? Well, I don't know. I don't know. So relax. You don't know. Papa, that's more reason I shouldn't relax. Yes, maybe God gave me a second chance to, to make my findings. So why should I relax? Your future is brighter, you must make it. Your future is brighter, you must make it. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Yes, I've actually been under the weather. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm better now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Honestly, I'm much better now. Most definitely, sir. Thank you so much. Bye. So you have a package from from the governor's son, and there's a small note in it. Let's hear it. He says he'll be out of town in two days, and 
he will be back in two or three weeks' time and he would love to see you today. And he sent that in no flowers, no chocolates, nothing? No, Auntie. No wonder his dad just spoke to me. Trash it. Please check Mama. Tell her we're ready. I am ready and she's the one. We are the ones everybody is waiting for. She's almost done. Just tell her to hurry, please. Okay, Trash that. Trash that. Nani, I'm worried though, and I'm scared too. Eh? Worried about what? Nani, haven't you thought about what will become of us if Nani eventually found out that we have been lying to him? Eh? Hey. Have we not been lying to him? So why is this different? Hey, I wonder what he's up to. He doesn't even listen to anyone. You talk too much. Just let me handle it. Mm -hmm. And then you will be shocked. Love on your side, I made you want ya. My name will be on one edge of the car. Love on the sweet, yeah, in the cover of the sun. Don't promise what you are not sure. Cause tomorrow is very, very far You don't know tomorrow Be mindful of If I look my love It gave me some really Promise that you made You must fulfill a more If I look my love The bell of your love more Promise that you made You must fulfill a more If I look my love It gave me some really Promise that you made you must fulfill a more. If I look my love, the bell of your love more. Promise that you made you must fulfill a more. If I look my love, it gave me some really Promise that you made you must fulfill a more. If I look my love, the bell of your love more. Promise that you made you must fulfill a more. Because of money and wealth, you sold your love. This is betrayal, breach of confidence. This is betrayal, lost of trust. Love your friend in this house again. All she does is to teach you gossip. Let me see her here again. Papa, don't say that, oh. My friend in my is not a gossip. Don't say that. Don't say that, oh. Okay. Let me see her here again. You will see her. Let me see her in this house again. All your mates are in their husband's houses. No. You are in your father's house. You are not even ashamed of yourselves. Of Let me see her here. Ashamed of myself. Why now? Papa, why? Why would I be ashamed of, my, ashamed of myself of being in my father's house? Me, I been, um, this is my father's house. And I should be proud of being in my father's house. Let me tell you something, Papa. I will get married when the time comes. 
I will wait. I even do you even know if I have to buy if if I have a, if if I have a man already. I may, maybe he's in a board. I'm I'm communicating with him via via what they call uh, is it is it email or so. Yes. Hey. Do you even know? Do you even know? Oh, it's you are You are communicating. Yes. Your husband mm. to be eh, that is somewhere else. Yes. Okay. Keep waiting I wait. until your mates <laughs> are grandmothers. God forbid, Papa. I reject it. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Yes. Back to sender to yes, who? Yes, yes. To who now? To you now. To your father. I've got married. I married your mother. I'll have you as a daughter. So it can't be me. Ah, Don't mind I'm watching now. I am waiting and watching be you. Watching. <laughs> Is it not you? I am watching you. Be watching, no. I am watching you. Be watching. Watch her. Be watching. You will watch and watch and watch. Papa, it's me in this house. Let me check out my teacher. Who die here? Me and Ben Nam. Me and Ben Nam. I'm going nowhere. Papa, me and Ben Nam. Me and Ben Nam, Papa. Doctor. Doctor. What happened? I, I don't know. He just started behaving funny to call you. Just like that? I'm afraid this guy is leaving us. So, what do we do? appreciation should go to my doctor friend. He called me right on time. Yes, we do have the equipment, but he has the expertise. Just calm down. Thank you so very much, anyway. <laughs> For nothing again. Um. Hello. Oh, doctor, good morning. Good morning. I see you're doing much better. Yeah, so much better. <laughs> I'm glad. I heard you sing with me again. Oh no, not me. My doctor friend made that call right on time. No, that's nice. You know, there is something about this hospital. We people seem to have some gifted hands. <laughs> no, like we always say, we do our best, but God heals. Okay. Just checking up on you. Okay. <laughs> You've not told me your name. How are you, my son? 
And why does everybody keep asking me, how are you? Well, what, 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 what's going on? Huh? Whenever you ask me that kind of question, it makes me feel like a baby. Uh -uh. But you're still my baby. Mama, I noticed the way you stared at doctor the other day at the hospital. What was, the, what was that? <laughs> the doctor that took care of you. I was only admiring her, you know. Mm, I was just admiring how beautiful, young and humble lady like that own a place. Mama, are you sure? Because the looks I saw on your face that day wasn't that of admiration. You know what I'm talking about. Trust me. I'm not Mama. Hmm. Ah, I was only admiring her. Ah. Mm, okay. Well. When one does Hello, how are you? I'm I'm good. Um Mr. Namdi. Namdi, yes. How Juliet, are you? right? <laughs> yes, Dr. Juliet. Oh, Dr. Juliet. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. What are you doing here? Um, nothing. I just came to eat lunch. Oh, okay. Nice to see you again. No problem. Stay safe. Bye. Excited to tell, but is the secret. What? You want to see me sad? You know that's not what I mean. <laughs> Mama, there's nothing you to tell. tell. You know that's not what I mean. There is nothing to tell. There is something to this your your mall visit today. No, there is more to it. Okay. Tell them. <laughs> okay. Mama, I'm talking already. Okay. I'm listening. It's yeah. nothing. It's just that I went into Namdi in different places. Yay! He even offered to pay my bills at the restaurant. Is it open? Yes. Hey! It's fascinating because he doesn't recognize me. Mm -hmm. He doesn't remember me at all. That's why it's shocking. How am I feeling that somebody is falling in love? No, 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 it's not that, Mama. I'm just surprised that the guest just taught me Bearing the fact that he doesn't even recognize who I am. People come to think of it. Is he pretending not to recognize you or what? No, no, Mama, it's not his fault. But some mm -hmm. people, it takes years before they get their memory back. Are you sure? Yes. It'll mm -hmm. take time, but he'll come around. So, what are you going to do now? Nothing. I'll just let life play out, Mama. Chai. Will you there? Stop. Oh, you Oh, hi, I'm so happy the way you're taking everything. I trust you. We can never make a wrong decision. I have everything under control. Mm. I trust you, my daughter. You know, I'm always proud of you. I know. <laughs> I know, Mama, I know. What God says will be, will always be. Mm? Let's see what God will do. Hey! I'm, and I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I'm coming out of it. I know you're happy. And that makes me. Happy. Mama, go to the kitchen. You are going to the kitchen. Go. I'm happy too. When I see you happy. Hey, check it now. Son. What? Who is this girl that you are head over heels over? It's Juliet. Her name is Juliet. And I think I, I'm getting so fond of her. 
There's something about that girl that's reminding me of Adani. <laughs> and who is Judith? Judith is the doctor. A doctor? I thought you said you admire her. <laughs> oh, oh, of course, of course. I, I, I do admire her. I like her. Um, but I don't see this coming on. I would love to know her more. Don't you think so? <clears throat> no one is talking. Mm, uh, uh, yeah, mm, it's good you, you get to know her a little more. So happy that you're back. I hope you are not still struggling to remember me. Sure, I'm not. I remembered you vividly. Good. Dad. Yes. Who did you say came to see you? Uh, he's still here. This is uh, my younger sister's first daughter. Oh. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, Dad, I, I think I should go back upstairs. Oh, yes. You, you need to rest. Yes. Uh, uh, inside. Hi! Uh, no, uh, Are you all right? Uh, Are you all right? You're hurting me. Becky! Ah. You, it hurts. You're hurting me. Ah. Ah. Becky, you're pregnant. Namdi. I don't know how you feel about this whole thing, uh, but I must prevail on you to please understand with us and forgive my daughter and I. Uh, it wasn't intentional, uh, it wasn't our making, and that was why I didn't spare anything to ensure that um, you get the best treatment anywhere in the world can offer, you know. Um, I am happy that you're back, uh, but while you were away, life had to go on. Becky couldn't wait anymore. Uh, he met someone that she fell in love with and uh, they are happily married right now. So I sincerely hope that you do understand. I will never blame anyone on this. It's just an ordeal I have to face. Yeah, you were never wrong. Neither Becky, she wasn't wrong too, you know. 
She has her own life to live. You understand? Of course I do. Um, I'm so relieved that you understand with us. I am not surprised though, because I know who you are. You have always been very articulative and brave in anything you do. Thank you so much. So how did the meeting go with your boss? Everything went well. Until I got the shock of my life. What, what was that? I saw the woman I was supposed to get married to before the incident. And? She's pregnant. The told pregnancy. Oh. Paid for another man. Oh, congratulations to her. I mean, no, no offense, but she has a life ahead of her. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for her anyway. I'm happy for her. Yeah, mm. she's happy for her. Great chance you made. I mean, I know somebody who waited for a man 12 whole years only for him to come back and dump her. So congratulations to your ex. Good job. What? Yes. A whole 12 years? 12 whole years. Wow. Wow. That's so ridiculous. I can never do that to a lady. Don't be too sure. My Joy River, you don't look your usual self. Oh, God, Mama. I'm sorry. I was just a bit lost in thought. Sorry. So much is happening around me. I've just come to realize that we need to be careful as human beings. And the hole you dig for someone else might end up swallowing you tomorrow. Exactly. Exactly, my daughter. My daughter, you see, this life is a big, deep cycle that rotates. And whatever you drop there will come back to you. Come on. Be it good or, or bad. bad. Hey! May God not allow me particularly evil. It's true. What you sow is what you will reap. Exactly. But I know, my daughter, you are such a good person. You can never partake in evil at all. A lion can never give birth to a pig. I am my mother's daughter. Exactly. I love you, my baby. Love you too, Mama. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I know. So, so proud of you. I am a proud mother. <laughs> Son. The most important thing is uh, the decision you made on the matter. And I'm very proud of you. Uh, that means you are every inch like your father. <laughs> and um, I'm really proud of your decision. <laughs> Just like I told Dr. Juliet, she has her life to live. No one signed up to the kind of thing that has happened to me. So I understand her completely. My son, you said that her father, your boss, tried to hide her identity from you. That is very wicked of him. Why are you only speaking of people at the slightest opportunity? You haven't even said anything about yours, but you're only speaking of people. 
<laughs> what do you mean by that? What he did to my son was bad. Eh? Every good mother will say the same thing. Anyway, um, Dad, Mom, I'll be inside. Okay, son. Hmm. Nah. I've been worried, though. Concerning this year plan, I have some feelings that things are beginning to blow out. It is my plan. Things are going down now, it has become my plan. Hmm? Is that all? Nay. Nah. You. So you said it, that I should stay away from it, that you will handle it. Is that not what you told me? Eh? Hm. The way things are going, you know, you better tighten up the edges of your plans. Because when I was in charge, things were going smoothly. Very well. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at me like that. I ah. want to tell the boy everything. What did I just hear you say? I know you're not there. What exactly do you want to tell him? Everything. Everything? Like what exactly? Every single thing that the boy boy needs to know. Enough of lies and deceit. Hi! Hi! So what have you decided about her? I don't want to push anything. Everything has to go easy and soft. Every time you talk about this fairy girl, he seems unusually happy. And that makes me happy too. You know, there's something about her. She reminds me of someone. Yeah. I don't understand she reminds you of someone. Sounds funny. If she's reminding you of someone, that means you... You know of this person already. Her face is so familiar. She reminds me of someone I used to... I used to know. I don't know how to explain it, but... This is strange. Yes, it is. But Dr. Julia told me that it's normal. She said that to me. And who's Dr. Juliet? My doctor. She told you that? Yes. You mean his mother did all that to you? Why would she do that to you? She hates me for no reason. Yes, she does. If she can control her husband the way you said she did, then she's trying so hard to ensure that Namdi doesn't get to know you. Exactly. That's if they don't recognize you. They do recognize me. Vividly. But Namdi's father has chosen to allow his wife influence his every decision. So what do you want to do? Nothing. Leave it to chance. Keep my identity secret. Until whenever they choose to change and open up or reality dawns on Namdi himself. And don't you think that's a risk? Risky for them, not me. I'm not the one hiding anything. So, there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. Okay, what is it? It's about uh, Adanda. What about Adanda? We've been lying to you all this while. Uh, Adanda wasn't dead. In fact, she's alive. 
sorry we 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 had to lie to you all this while. What? Up to now, eh? We, we, we cannot just continue to lie and lie and let, let him know about it. You will not be quiet, you are a man. Why? Oh God. Why is my son up to go though? Why is he up to now? We are sorry. My son, please. <laughs> please. Just stay out of my way. Now. <laughs> please forgive <since> us. <laughs> we, we, we didn't mean to. Since you people have decided to destroy me, to ruin my happiness. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Do you know what? I am leaving. Son. And you will never, yes. ever, ever have me again. Son. And I mean it. You sounded so worried on the phone. Well, what is the problem? Do you mind coming in? Don't worry, I'm not in the mood for that. But that's okay, so what's the problem? I came to let you know that I'll be leaving for a while. Leaving? Yeah. Why? And where to? I don't know yet, but I'll keep in touch. Uh, can you tell me or fill me with what this whole bullshit is all about. My mother and my father have been lying to me about Adane. Uh, um, wait. You see, wait. Don't tell me you know something about this. I say I am very sorry. Don't tell me you know something about that. Oh, even you, even you, my best friend. So you can lie to me too. I can't even trust you anymore. Even you. Fulfill a love. 
I'm leaving. I am just leaving. I'm going away from them. They are all liars. Even the one I called my best friend lied to me. I'm leaving them for good. I don't even know. I don't even know who to believe again. I don't know. I am leaving them for good. All I want to do now is to see you before I leave. Where are you? Okay, I'm coming right away. I'll be there. I don't even know who to believe. Why else? Because of money and wealth, you sold your love. This is betrayal, breach of confidence. Mm -hmm. This is betrayal, lost of trust. Manubani Balumba, lover. to Nandi. Nandi has never laid his hands on anyone. But that wicked wife of mine is the architect of this mishap that has befallen us. It's okay, Papa. It's okay. But, but did he tell you where he was going to? He never did. He just pushed us away and I went outside. We don't know where he's gone to. I think I know where he might be. Hmm? You do? You know where he is? Yes. Please come and go. Please take me there. Azuka! Azuka! So since you found out she's alive, where is she? No one seems to know. No matter what it takes me, I must find Adane. There's not much you can do. Like you said, if you see her, you don't know her. So even if you go searching for her, how will you know if she's right in front of you? That's my worries now. I'm just so confused. Same several one is giving up the game. Why don't you do same? What are you doing, Austin? Quit the game at that name. Let him know already. She is a girl you've been looking for all this while. What, what nonsense are you talking about? This is Dr. Juliet. What are you talking about? I don't understand. My son, is the truth. He, he, he's right. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry. Eh? Mama, please. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Please. Adane. Please. She's Adane. Adane. 
Please come down, please. Can't you hear a heart cry? Can't you see her tears? Can't you feel her pain? After all her waiting for years, this is all you have to say to her. This is all you have to say. I am now a laughing star.